Welcome back. Today there will be another video on some lens repair. This is a lens I purchased uh, for only $14 and I thought the price was a little low because I didn't read before I bought it that it was actually being sold as is broken. Yeah, a bit of an oops on that, but I thought, you know what? It's If it's broken, I can just try to fix it, and if it's still broken, well, it was already broken. So let's see what's wrong with it. First off, well, look at the state of that front element. So it actually has two chips in it. There's a big chip here and a smaller chip right there. And right where those chips are, the coating is starting to fail, but also around the edge, um, it's going to be difficult to see. Um, the coating is also failing in little speckly marks and right at the edge too, so yeah, this front element is toast. The other problem that it had is that the aperture would not work properly, it would stick. So right now, spoiler alert, it works. And when you stop it down, the lever here will reopen it. Uh, before, it was just completely stuck. And that was the main issue. So right now, it's a perfectly functional lens with a iffy front element. So let me show you how to fix this, if this is your problem. Um, the tools you're going to want some of these you're going to want, some are actually necessary. So some silicone spray, this I actually used to um, restore the rubber parts on here. Um, completely optional, but it was nice to have. Um, also some grease, I put some um, grease in a syringe, that's a way it's easier to apply. Um, this I used on the ball detent for the um, aperture clicks. The most necessary tool here is a small Phillips or JIS screwdriver. Um, next would be a couple plastic pry tools, some pretty strong ones. You're going to want those. Um, a tweezers and um, a little pick, plastic pick can also be helpful. So the symptoms of this aperture problem are you put it on the camera and when you do your um, aperture, um, like your stop down preview, uh, it just won't work. And like I said, when you try to stop it down or open it back up, it just sticks. So to start here, there are four screws on the back. One, two, three, and four. And before I continue, let me get you a closer view. There we go. Now you can see. So you have one, two, three, and four. When you first take this lens apart, I recommend just crack them all loose and then after that, uh, loosen them off all the way. Um, I've had this lens on or this lens apart a couple times now uh, during my attempts to fix it. So, um, you know, it's kind of, it's used to being taken apart. But that very first time, likely since the factory, um, might not be a bad idea just to take them off one at a time. So before I take anything off here, let me tell you a couple things you're going to want to know. There is a little spring right behind this blanked off um, part where there isn't um, a pin connection. Over here, right about here, all right, you can get your bearings on the opposite side from where those connectors are. There is a ball and a spring. Uh, if, uh, if you're unlucky when you lift this off, it's going to go flying across the room and you're never going to see it again. Um, and then when you lift it off, um, from this linkage, it comes over this way, and then um, I'll show you, it gets stuck. It gets stuck because that thing right there gets stuck on that brass pin way down there, and I'll try and show that to you now. Right down in there, you see that little white spot right above the zero? That's a little brass pin. All right, and that's actually what's controlling your aperture down there. So if you have this aperture problem, it's I would find to be very unlikely that the problem is with the aperture itself. The problem is actually right here, this piece. So this piece here needs to be um, free to move, 
and mine was jammed stuck. Also that ball is right behind here. So I'm going to lift the aperture. Ooh. There it is. That's the ball right there, and it almost got away from me. I'll put that in my parts tray. So back to the matter at hand. So this pin goes straight into the plastic, and it is made of brass. This plate here with this other pin, that is steel, and they were seized onto each other. So what you want to do is take your plastic pry tools and gently very very gently um, pry it up and out however you gotta do it whatever you gotta do because again if the lens is broken in this way consider it already broken you can't break it too much more but um, honestly this is a pretty easy fix once you get it out you're gonna have to separate the brass pin from the steel plate that's probably gonna be the hardest part of this whole thing um, next to getting that ball back in for your aperture clicks okay and then once you get it apart clean it up with a like a wire brush or something and reinstall it it should work like this then again once you do get it reinstalled first thing you want to you're going to want to figure out is how to get this stupid ball back in place sometimes it'll go easy but usually it's going to be a pain so just be aware. And this is where I would I put a little bit of grease. Now sometimes this is easier to do actually with your hand. Sometimes it's easier to do with the tweezers. I'm going to just try it with my fingers this time. All right, put the ball in place. Be very careful of this little pin right there. All right, that likes to fall out and I actually got it jammed inside the lens at one point. There. So that one actually was pretty easy. And this pin what it's supposed to do is, as you move it forward, that spring from the spring force from this mechanism right here is going to always wanting to be pushing it that way. And this cam molded into the aperture ring, that is what pushes it back. And because I'm very unlucky, I just unseated the ring again. All right. All right, you see what happened just there? This ring popped up, and right there is that really annoying button that I warned you about, and it almost went straight back into that lens. This is not a difficult lens to repair by any means, but they're just these little things that can really get you. So be patient. All right, before I screw anything else up, I'm going to get this thing closed. So remember that brass pin? You have to get this little hoop around that pin you can see in there pretty well by just by eye. Let's up the exposure here. Maybe you get a chance to see down in there. And you just gotta fish for it. Be gentle because you don't want to damage anything in there. And we get to the point where it doesn't want to come back out, that means it's captured. And all you have to do is lower it back down. And there it goes. It is in place.
Then start putting the screws back in one by one. Do not strip these out because it's just going into plastic. Should be an obvious thing, but you never know. And there you go. Now you can consider your lens fixed. If I didn't mention it, this is the Pentax FA 28-200. I think this is also a Tamron lens, because I've seen a Tamron lens that looks almost exactly like this. Same sort of function, same design. And here you can see the damage to the lens. So it does still take okay images. The problem is that if any light shines on the front element, it just washes out um, all the contrast really badly. So it's, uh, I don't know, I probably won't use it a whole lot longer if I can find some other zoom options. Um, otherwise, I really do like having the super zoom. It is actually pretty nice to have um, basically every focal length you could want all in one lens. Um, as long as there's enough light, because this is not fast. And as long as you don't need shallow depth of field. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. That is how you fix a $14 broken lens and uh, still get some pretty good value out of it. If you got any questions about um, this lens or other similar lenses, you know, you can throw that down in the comments if you wish. Um, you know, just keep in mind that just because this lens works this way does not mean other lenses will work this way. But you don't know unless you take them apart to figure it out. So, till next time, see ya.